I would say challenge, you're thinking the, the big plus spindle in the robo drill is more mill than drill. And we're seeing it in applications all over the country. People are cutting titanium. We have customers that are cutting Inconels in it. Here at Machine Fest 2023, I think we'd probably be amiss if we weren't talking a little bit about Fanuc robo drills. Now there's some beautiful machines behind me. There's three of them. Uh, some showing some really interesting demos, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But what is the history of Fanuc robo drill and Fanuc with, with method machine tools, Kevin? There's actually a, there's a very extensive history between Fanuc and Methods. Uh, Methods has been around since 1958, and we've been selling and importing the RoboDrill for over two decades. And that's, that's a, that translates to a massive footprint across the United States. We've had a lot of success in North America. Uh, the RoboDrill is a fantastic product, and we're really proud to represent it through Fanuc. Absolutely, and there's a long history in terms of the development of the machine itself. It started off with something very different to what it is now, and there's some misconceptions around it. True. Back when originally Methods was importing the Robo Drill, it was designed as a drill and tap machine. It's a 30 taper machine that really was designed to just drill and tap holes super fast. Um, Fanix Engineering is excellent, and they were the world leader in drilling and tapping. Now the machine has actually advanced quite far past that drilling and tapping capability. Now our nomenclature, or what we like to coin, is this is, machine is more mill than drill. And it really is coming forward in technology by using a BT30 spindle and a big plus spindle. The speeds and feeds that this thing can push are much more than people originally thought. And it's used in applications across the country and across North America and around the world, really, that it wasn't designed for originally. People in job shops and all kinds of educational spaces and all kinds of manufacturing spaces are pushing this thing harder. And we're going to show you that in a couple of demos. Absolutely. And there's, there's even more features around milling, especially, I mean, the, there's the extra little bit, those two letters and numbers, the B5, that means something very special for this machine as well. Right. One of the other misconceptions is that the RoboDrill wasn't a full five-axis machine. And I want to make sure that everybody understands that the RoboDrill is full five-axis. So that means simultaneous contouring is capable in this machine. It's not a three plus two. It's not a four plus one. It's a fully five-axis capable machine. And it's clear the technology has advanced so far now. Let's talk a little bit about the demonstrations you've got. And you've got actually, the first one is it's a steel demo, which people don't normally see steel on a robot drill, do they? Right. It's what we've taken is a, a BT30 machine, which is a non-big plus spindle, and we've put 1018 steel in the machine on purpose. What we wanted to do was show that the capability of the robot drill is there to cut that harder material. And it's an, a 1018 cold roll steel that we're using a 10 millimeter Kenna metal core cutter that has a chip that has chip breakers around each flute and we're pushing that machine at 86 and a half inches per minute, and we're running that 10K robo drill that has a 10 horsepower spindle at 8,000 RPMs, and it's got a beautiful finish, and it's pushing right through that steel, making the nice hot purple chips that you want, and we're cutting it dry. It's a fantastic demo to show off the capability of the robo drill. Absolutely, I'm a metric man, but I've been reliably informed that it's a good <laughs> feed rate. I'll have to work it out a little bit later on my calculator. Um, there's another demo as well, which is a bit more, It's. Uh, more standard, more standard material being aluminium. Right. It's actually really fascinating. You say it's not a more drill, more mill than drill, but this demo's got a lot of drilling in it as well, hasn't it? This one has a ton of <laughs> drilling in it. It's a, it's a demo that's designed for the semiconductor industry. In this particular demo, there's 3,500, 3,600 holes in it total, and, and there's also 204 tapped holes. So we used a combination of, uh, of four different end mills and a couple of different taps to make a fantastic robot drill demo. Uh, we surfaced around with some end mills, and the total time to cut that demo was a little under eight hours. Eight hours, and it's a huge number of holes to make in that, in that demo. It's it's brilliant looking part as well, beautiful finishes. Um, for those customers who think the BT30 is just too small, there's no way they could get one of these machines on their shop floor because it wouldn't be capable. What would you say to those customers? I would say challenge your thinking. The, the big plus spindle in the robo drill is more mill than drill. And we're seeing it in applications all over the country. People are cutting titanium. We have customers that are cutting Inconels in it. Again, you have to have some smaller step overs and some thinner cutting, but the robo drill can handle it at really good tolerances. It's just more capable than people think. And what we like to do to tell customers is challenge it. If not, send us the information. We'll give you a test cut or a time study and we'll do it and prove it to you that it can.